<laughs> I'm so terrible at doing So here we are at Exos HQ. We had an email today, someone asking how they can connect Exos and sensors connected to Exos to their Ableton Live arrangements. Uh, so we had a look at a solution and this little demo video to show how it's done. So the first thing you need is a bit of software in the middle, which is called Junction. I only found out about this today. It's quite a cool bit of software developed by Stein. And you download this software and it looks a little something like this. There's a number of inputs, some actions, and then some outputs as well. If you want to connect to an OSC device like Exos, uh, then you have to select uh, these inputs, the OSC inputs. They're not actually enabled by default on the application, so you switch to preferences and you select the number that you need here. Uh, there's 16 for the 16 inputs for Exos, but you can go up to 100 look. Pretty cool. So I'm already connected to Exos, you can see uh, from the network connections here, it's just running and I have a soft pot connected and what I'd like to do is control a filter uh, as I slide my finger on the soft pot here. So in order to do that I'm going to select the first message here. Uh, I'm going to double click to edit the controls. You can see that the inputs from the Ectos are all coming in here. Um, this is the first one. If I touch it on the slot for soft pot you can see that. Look, there it is. And then I'm just going to hit learn, so it learns whatever is being received at that time. And you can see there are 16 arguments corresponding to the 16 inputs on Exos. And I'm just going to select the first one that we're going to map onto a MIDI control message. So I'm just going to drag that into this input here. And that's automatically mapped to MIDI control change uh, 1, control number 1. And then you can see the value going up and down as I slide my finger on uh, the soft pot. So now I'm going to go to live, where I've got a live arrangement. Um, what I want to do is control this uh, cutoff frequency here for a filter. So I'm just going to select the parameter, hit map. It's already picked up the MIDI message that's being sent from Junction. So I can come out of there, and here you can see I'm controlling that parameter from the position of the soft pot. So I'm just going to play the audio file, and you should hear everything working.